When an object named 3I Atlas slipped past Mars, scientists expected a global surge of data. It was the kind of astronomical alignment that happens once in many lifetimes, a rare moment when several nations' orbiters were perfectly positioned to observe a visitor from beyond the solar system. Instead, what followed was an eerie silence. No new data, no press conferences, no images. NASA blamed the timing of a government shutdown. The European Space Agency said its observations were still being processed. But the most striking absence came from China's National Space Administration. For a nation that has proudly shared over 14,000 Mars images since 2021, the total blackout was deafening. It wasn't a delay. It was as if the encounter had never happened. At first, people assumed bureaucracy or coincidence. Yet whispers began to circulate online and within scientific forums, suggesting that something extraordinary, even frightening, had been discovered. What began as speculation grew into the framework of one of the most unsettling space mysteries of the century, the alleged 3I Atlas data leak, sometimes called the Beijing leak. The claim was simple but staggering that China's Mars orbiter, Tianwen-1, had observed something around Mars that did not behave like a natural object, and that governments around the world had decided to bury the truth. For scientists, the intrigue began with the anomalies surrounding 3I Atlas even before its Martian approach. Its chemical composition didn't fit known comet models. The ratio of carbon dioxide to water vapor was around 8 to 1, far higher than any recorded comet. Its light spectrum revealed high concentrations of nickel, but almost no iron, a chemical imbalance that should not exist in naturally formed celestial bodies. Even its behavior defied expectation. As it vented gases into space, it exhibited none of the subtle course shifts that normally accompany cometary jets. It was, in effect, expelling matter but refusing to move, as though it produced thrust without recoil, like a rocket engine with no propulsion. And its path through the solar system was equally improbable, threading remarkably close to Venus, Mars, and Jupiter in a sequence that statistical models suggest has less than a 1 in 20,000 chance of occurring randomly. To many observers, it looked navigated. Then came the silence. When a rare interstellar object passes a major planet, every agency involved in planetary science typically races to publish its data. Here, all went quiet. NASA's shutdown was bureaucratic cover, but it couldn't explain why China, Europe, and the UAE, all unaffected by American politics, also fell mute. To analysts who follow space programs, that pattern suggested coordination, and in the geopolitical world of modern space exploration, coordination often means control. China's space program is as political as it is scientific. Each mission serves as both discovery and demonstration, a signal of technological prowess. The absence of any public statement was therefore extraordinary. Historically, if the United States faltered, China filled the vacuum with triumphal headlines. This time, Beijing chose silence, and silence in this case was its own statement. Weeks later, rumors surfaced of a small collection of digital files uploaded anonymously to a private server in Hong Kong. The archive, labeled only with the Chinese characters for Atlas Transmission, contained a handful of compressed images, telemetry readings, and an encrypted text file. According to those who claim to have seen it, the data originated from Tianwen-1's Mars orbit. Within hours, copies of the files spread across underground scientific networks and private data channels. The images were low-resolution and fragmentary, but enough to ignite the imagination. The object they showed, if genuine, was not a comet. It appeared hexagonal, symmetrical, and remarkably smooth. Rather than the irregular, cratered texture typical of natural bodies, its circus displayed repeating geometric patterns, a lattice resembling circuitry or etched panels. One astrophysicist described it as a metallic snowflake the size of a mountain. To the untrained eye, it looked designed. That single visual was enough to split the global scientific community between skepticism and dread. If real, it implied the first hard evidence of artificial construction beyond Earth. 
the accompanying telemetry added to the unease. Tianwen 1's thermal sensors had detected bursts of heat emanating from the object in a repeating pattern, flashes every 137 seconds. These weren't random or chaotic like sublimating gas vents. They appeared in controlled, timed sequences. Some analysts suggested they could represent energy emissions, system cycles, or even a form of communication. In a move that now seems fateful, the Chinese orbiter reportedly transmitted a brief radio pulse toward the object. A mathematical greeting, the universal hello, often used in attempts to contact extraterrestrial intelligence. What happened next, according to the leak, changed everything. The object's emissions stopped. Its surface polarization abruptly shifted, from absorbing light to reflecting it. For a fraction of a second, the structure shone brighter than any star visible from Mars' orbit. Then, it went dark again. To those who reviewed the data, it was an unmistakable reaction, an acknowledgement. The implication was chilling. The object had not just noticed Tianwen-1, it had responded. Further analysis of the data suggested that 3I Atlas was not a single monolithic structure at all. It was composed of thousands of smaller hexagonal units flying in a tightly coordinated formation, a swarm. This explained earlier inconsistencies in its calculated mass and luminosity. What observers had assumed was one massive comet might instead have been a fleet of compact, interlinked probes moving as a unified whole. From a purely engineering perspective, the concept was staggering and far beyond human capability. The final piece of the alleged leak was the strangest of all. Embedded within Tianwen-1's neutrino detector logs was a faint, modulated signal, not electromagnetic, but subatomic. It was a neutrino burst repeating at precise intervals. To most scientists, this was the most unbelievable claim. Humanity's ability to generate or decode modulated neutrino transmissions is still theoretical, but if true, such a signal would represent a form of communication that could cross entire galaxies undistorted by gas, dust, or interference. Over the following weeks, a small circle of astrophysicists and cryptographers supposedly worked to analyze it. What they decoded, according to those who leaked the story, was not a greeting, not coordinates, not data. It was a warning. The translated message was concise, looping endlessly in mathematical syntax. It is coming. Silence the harvest. Avoid the light. The meaning, as always, was open to interpretation. Some proposed that the light referred to high-energy radiation, perhaps a gamma burst or supernova wave. Others suggested the phrase pointed to something more literal, a civilization or cosmic phenomenon that harvests energy systems across the galaxy. The idea that 3i Atlas was a kind of ancient buoy, a self-sustaining warning probe launched by a long-extinct civilization, began to circulate in scientific subcultures. Its purpose would have been simple, to drift through space, broadcasting an alert about a galactic threat, much like a lighthouse left to warn ships of a vanished reef. If this interpretation was even remotely correct, the implications were staggering. It would mean that the first confirmed message from beyond our solar system was not an invitation, but a distress beacon, a signal of survival, not communication. And if that were true, the global silence that followed suddenly made sense. Revealing such information to the public would trigger unprecedented consequences. Religions, economies, and political systems might collapse overnight. The very notion of cosmic security the comforting belief that humanity's challenges are local, not existential, would disintegrate. Leaders faced with such knowledge might conclude that ignorance was mercy. Thus, the theory goes, the world's major powers reached a rare agreement to say nothing, to hide everything, and to work in secret. The alleged Beijing leak describes a chain of confidential meetings among military and political elites. According to this narrative, China quietly shared its findings with the United States and a handful of allied governments. For the first time in modern history, bitter rivals formed a covert alliance, united by a shared existential concern. NASA's shutdown provided convenient camouflage for America's participation, while European agencies invoked technical delays. The coordination was not about pride or politics, but about survival. In the shadows, a new world order was forming one built not on competition for power, 
but on mutual fear. Skeptics, of course, dismiss the entire story as a sophisticated hoax. They point out that no verifiable version of the leaked data has ever surfaced, that neutrino signals of the described kind are far beyond current detection capabilities, and that the described chemical anomalies of 3i Atlas, while intriguing, could still have natural explanations. The supposed images could be fabrications generated through compression artifacts or AI manipulation. In an era of deep fakes and viral misinformation, that's not only possible, it's probable. Yet the mystery persists, precisely because every official response has been so restrained. NASA's eventual release of a few blurry, low-resolution frames showing nothing more than a faint dot only fueled suspicion. The European Space Agency's follow-up paper described the object as a cometary body with atypical properties and moved on. China has never publicly addressed the incident. For those convinced the leak was real, that silence is the greatest confirmation of all. In their view, the governments of Earth were not suppressing data to protect pride or politics, but to protect the species itself. To admit the existence of an ancient machine warning of cosmic annihilation would be to render all human institutions irrelevant overnight. Better perhaps to let humanity sleep. The darker interpretation suggests something more cynical. Knowledge, after all, is power. If 3i Atlas truly carried advanced technology or encoded information, any nation able to decipher it could gain an overwhelming advantage. In that sense, secrecy might not only prevent panic, it might fuel a clandestine technological race, a new arms race, not for weapons of destruction, but for understanding. The message, the structure, even the neutrino emissions could hold insights into physics far beyond our current grasp. Whoever could unlock them might leap centuries ahead. Thus, silence becomes not just protection, but possession. Today, the official record portrays 3i Atlas as a passing curiosity. The NASA shutdown ended, press briefings resumed, the world's news cycle moved on. In academic journals, the object is listed as a probable interstellar comet of anomalous composition. But for those who believe the leak, that label is just a polite fiction. Behind the scenes, they claim laboratories continue to analyze encrypted data. Governments quietly coordinate deep space monitoring. And somewhere, classified telescopes are pointed toward the void searching for signs of the light we were told to avoid. If the alleged message is genuine, its implications extend beyond science. It forces a philosophical reckoning. Humanity has always dreamed of contact, of voices among the stars. We built radio telescopes, sent golden records into the dark, and waited for a reply. But what if the first reply we receive is not a greeting, but a warning to hide. What if intelligence elsewhere in the cosmos learned, long ago, that visibility is fatal? It redefines not only our place in the universe, but the very wisdom of seeking connection. The story of 3i Atlas, whether fact or fiction, captures a modern anxiety at the heart of space exploration. In an age when data moves faster than trust, when images can be faked and truths suppressed, the boundary between discovery and myth blurs easily. Perhaps there was no machine, no signal, no message. Perhaps it was only a rock, behaving oddly, and human imagination filled the silence with fear. But the fascination endures, because the underlying question is timeless. If we found evidence of something beyond us, something that might threaten us, would our leaders tell us? Would we even want them to? As 3i Atlas recedes into the outer dark, its faint reflection fading among the stars, it leaves behind a haunting echo. The agencies have archived their files, the headlines have long vanished, and the world spins on. But somewhere in data centers and whispered conversations, the phrase persists, it is coming, avoid the light. Maybe the warning is metaphorical. Maybe it refers not to a cosmic force, but to ourselves, to the peril of human arrogance, of seeking 
what we are not ready to face. Or maybe, as some fear, it is literal. A relic of an ancient civilization that once saw the same sky and perished beneath an approaching light. Either way, the silence that followed the object's passing might be the truest part of the story. For in the vast theater of the cosmos, silence is never empty. It is a language of its own, one that sometimes says more than any transmission ever could. And so the question lingers, unsolved and unsettling. Did 3 Eye Atlas carry the first message from another intelligence, a signal from the deep past warning of a future yet to come? Or was it simply a mirror reflecting humanity's greatest fear, that in the search for meaning among the stars, we might finally find it and wish we hadn't?